Okay, everyone, uh, let me show you how you can scan a QR code which is appearing right on the, the screen of your device because it's easy. Um, I mean, it's easy to open up the camera and like uh, scan a QR code which is like somewhere outside of you. But what if the, the QR code is part of the screen? Like you see it somewhere on the website. So let's say that I open up the uh, Safari like this and I just go ahead and go to Google and look up some kind of QR code. So I'm just going to show it to you exactly how it works. Go to the images and I'm just going to look up the QR code like that. So QR code, search for it like this. Now go to the images and you can see a bunch of different QR codes. Now let's say that I just come across this page. I want to see what those codes actually have, like what's inside of there. So what I can do in this case is take a screenshot like this, make sure it's saved to the photos. And now all I have to do is come back to the photos app. So you can see I have all the stuff in here. So I'm just going to open up my QR code image. And when I have it in this section, like nothing really shows up. So you have to click on it. So the uh, today view and more controls show up. And one of them, it's kind of hard to notice, but at the bottom you have this little button in the lower right corner. So when you click on this, this is the live text feature. And now it reads every single text like a normal text, as well as the QR code. So this can read the QR codes. Right now, if I click on this one, it shows me that this is the URL for that specific QR code. I can, of course, open it in Safari, add it to the reading list, copy the link, share it. More stuff is available, as well as for other QR codes. So definitely very useful. But it is also possible that this does not work for you because the feature live text may be disabled in the settings. So this is another important part to pay attention to. So in this case, just open up the settings like this, go to the general section, scroll down and open up the date and a time or it's actually the language and region. So go to the language and region. And here is the live text. For whatever reason, I've mentioned it a couple of times in the past, for whatever reason, we have the live text setting inside of this language and region. I have no idea what it does in here. I don't think it belongs, but yeah, you have to have it turned on. It's in uh, there in the settings. And when you do have it turned on, you can take a screenshot of any QR code and then read it. So definitely something to know about. And also, if you want to know more about iPhones, check out the link down below in uh, the description. It's going to get you to the Fox Tech educational platform where you can join for free. There are other people learning already as well. And you can watch some courses on iPhones and video editing and more stuff is going to be added in the future. So go ahead and join right now and I'll see you there in the future. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.